I met my amazing boyfriend two years ago on Tinder. Before I met him, I had spent around four years on online dating. I had much talked and messaged with many men and meet them in person. And in this video, I want to share with you the three lessons I had learned about online dating and what it takes to find a great man online to help you on your journey. So let's dive right into the first lesson. The first lesson that I want every woman to know before they use any online dating platform is that it's brutal out there. You will get rejected, ghosted, or let on for a few times or many times before you meet that great man for you. Your insecurities and deep fears that you have gonna get triggered when you use online dating. Now, I don't want to say this to scare you, but I want you to be prepared. Many couples share their success stories, how they met their amazing partners online, but not many of them share their journey before they met their partners. Yes, there are always exceptions to everything. Some women will find their perfect match at the first wipe, the first day or the first month they download a dating app. However, the majority of women aren't that lucky. But that's fine. It's life. You will eventually find your perfect match just like they do if you don't get hopeless or compare yourself with other women who successfully find their perfect match sooner than you. It is so easy to create an only dating profile nowadays as all you need is a phone and the internet. Because of such easy and quick access to online dating, you will meet all types of men online, including the great, the good, the average, and the bad ones. This is inevitable. It's hard to avoid matching with the bad ones as this is the internet and pictures and bios can lie to us to a certain degree. When you message and get to know them more, then you will know what type of man that you're actually talking to. Some people will lie to you, but some will tell you the truth right away and it could be disappointing to hear. For example, they say, I'm only looking for a one night fun are you in something like that but there are also great men online too often you will match with a few bad ones first before you match with the great man experience will help you identify the good and the bad men better after several wrong matches Bio is what people tend to overlook, but having a great bio for your only profile is so important in attracting the right man that you're looking for. It doesn't mean that you will no longer match with the bad guys if you have a great bio. No, you still will, but much less. Your bio will filter the good and the bad men on the internet, so don't forget to write a good one. I made this video here, teach you about the do and the don't for creating a good profile, so make sure you check it out. The man who's looking for something serious will notice you when he reads your bio, and he will message you if he's interested in your bio and your pictures. And don't forget to look at other people's bios too. This gives you a general idea of who this person is. Men looking for more than just a one-night stand will fill up his bio with information about him himself. Men who are online for a quick fun often leave the bio blank or just fill in a few words just for the sake of having a bio. And you will see these men very often online, especially if you use a free online dating platform like Tinder. Often, we use online dating so that we can find a boyfriend quick don't we? And this is why many people get disappointed or frustrated when they don't find a great match quick 
or when they keep matching with the guys that aren't what they're looking for. That was me when I first used online dating. However, after some time, my motivation shifted to enjoying the dating process, getting to know people, taking things slow instead of rushing to meet a great man and get into a relationship. I was impatient and I rushed things. I'm sure many of us have done this at some point and it didn't turn out great did it. From failures of past relationships and failures from rushing things, I learned to take things slow and focus on my life, my happiness as a single, than just using online dating and getting into a relationship with somebody. Online dating was a part of my life and I used it in my free time. I learned to make sure that I wouldn't sacrifice my work or my personal life for online dating, but instead focus on my life and enjoy only dating on the side. And that was how I met my perfect match, who is now my boyfriend actually. After many failures, I knew what I wanted. I didn't rush things, but just meet people and let things unfold naturally. If it worked out, then fantastic. But if not, then I wouldn't be sad or think that there must be something wrong with me. When you don't focus on your agenda of having a boyfriend, but instead enjoy meeting new people and learn more about them, you will have a better experience with online dating. You will not get disappointed if things don't work out because in the end, why do we have to rush the process? What is the difference between having a boyfriend now and having a boyfriend later? When you focus on your life and work on yourself consistently, you will not have the desperation of having a partner. Instead, you know that you will meet him anyway, so you enjoy every moment of life and experience even though you haven't met that person yet. You know that any failure and wrong match is there to prepare you to meet your future partner. And the funny thing is that when you enjoy the journey and not rush to the outcome, you attract the best man out there and later build the best relationship that you have always dreamed of. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from this. If you like the video and want me to make more videos like this, then leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notification on and you will be notified when my next video is out. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have a great day. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.